I'm going to give you all of my views on what's going on in society. This podcast, we're going to talk about everything. So kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Welcome to Turk Talk. <laughs> I'm your host, Jamari. Oh, uh, yeah, let's get into it. What's happening, friends? Welcome to the show that highlights everything from social media to the events of the culture. Each week, we'll highlight the black wins, losses, and all the mess in between. <laughs> If you didn't know, I'm your host, Jamarius. Welcome to Turk Talks, baby. Talk, how many of y'all probably like, where he been at? Yo, I have been working and I'm so excited because I got some great news to share with y'all. And I got some great stuff I want to talk to y'all about. But you got to stay to the end because I'm going to be dropping bits and pieces everywhere. So first, I want to say thank you so much for your love and support on my book. Yeah, I got a book out. If you don't know, you can go to... Um, Amazon, Amazon Amazon.com, and you can get success is only part of my story. Jamari is the part. Yes, I'm an author. You can go to Amazon.com and get that. I am so excited. I have some great stuff to share with y'all today. We got some we got some great topics to talk about. Are y'all excited about that? I know y'all are. I am really just honored that you guys still, you know, listen to me and y'all love me enough to continue pushing for your boy, you know. Uh, I have a question for you today. I have a couple questions for you today. My first question to you is, how did you feel about uh, Kendrick Lamar's new single? I want to know, how do you feel about Kendrick Lamar's new single? A lot of people, they love it. But I have seen some people who really don't like it. We're going to talk about that. How do you feel about Kevin Samuel's death? Yeah. <laughs> I already know some of y'all don't like it. Some of y'all don't like it, and y'all don't like him. Uh, you want to know how I know? Because y'all been blasting him on Twitter, and he's dead. We're going to talk about all that. Make sure y'all stay tuned, stay listening, grab your wine, your coffee, your whatever, sit down, and listen to me, because we got some good stuff to talk about. It's time for some turkey inspiration, y'all. Y'all, before we get into this show, y'all know I have to give y'all a little bit of inspiration. And my inspiration today is for every dreamer, every every, every creative, every uh, person who has vision, every visionary, every business owner, entrepreneur, whatever you are, this is my inspiration to you today. Keep going. Don't lose your motivation. Some days motivation is going to find you. And you're going to want to run after everything. You're going to want to do everything. You're going to want to build everything. You're going to want to create everything. And then some days you're going to have to find motivation. But in those days when you have to find motivation, don't look at it as a day to rest. Don't look at it as a day to just chill out. Look at it as a day to I have to find, study, and know what my motivation is, what my purpose is. You have to remember what your purpose is, what your passion is, and what you are meant to do. And even if it feels a little rough right now, now it looks a little crazy right now. I know it's crazy. You probably like, dang, I ain't got no money to show for it. I ain't I don't really got nothing to really, you know, tell people really about. I, I, I've been in business three, four, five years, and I'm really just getting started. Like you may be having all these crazy thoughts in your head about why, you know, you you shouldn't do it, but I'm telling you, you should. Don't lose your motivation. You know, in the beginning of the year where everybody gets excited and everybody like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a million dollars. This is gonna be my million dollar year. I can feel it. Oh yeah, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I'm starting my business. I'm doing that. I'm doing, and, and, and we make all of these great plans because we have that euphoric happiness and that euphoric motivation. And then it's like six, seven months in, you're like, okay, okay. I don't know really what's going on. You're confused. You feel like nothing is really happening for you. You feel like everything is going against you. In that moment, stay motivated. Stay planted. Stay studying. Stay praying up. Because I promise you, everything that you want this year, you get it. I don't care. Look in the mirror every morning and say, I'm going to get every damn thing they said I couldn't get. This is the year that you're going to get everything that they said you couldn't get. But you got to work for it. You got to stay motivated. You got to stay consistent. You got to stay persistent. You got to stay determined. You got to stay in that mindset of, I don't care what I have to lose in the process. As long as I know that I'm on my way. Don't, don't get bamboozled. Don't get uh, 
Don't don't get hoodwinked. Don't get swindled into anything else. Stay with that tunnel vision of I know what I'm looking at. I don't care about what's beside me. I don't care what about what's behind me. I'm looking straight forward. Because I know that once I get out of here, that's when I know that I'm on the other side of what I was promised to get. That's my motivation for y'all today. I love y'all. Ain't nothing y'all can do about it. It's Black News Time. What up, y'all? It's Black Folk Business. Black News Time. Y'all ready? Now, all my white listeners, I'm going to tell y'all, you can listen. I love y'all, but it's Black Folk Business, so listen, but just listen. Don't, don't say that, okay? I love y'all, though. Anyway, but all my black people, I need your opinion. Now, y'all probably going to say, eh, it's not that deep, but I feel like it really is. Uh, Kanye West and D.L. Hughley, if you don't know, Kanye West is the one of the greatest hip hop artists there are in the world. Uh, D.L. Hughley is a political comedian, and basically, both of them are you know greats in in their rightful places. But they have been arguing, yo, on Twitter, and hey, D.L. Hughley really been. He really been uh, digging in the Kanye bowl. So the the issue started when D.L. Hughley posted on Twitter that uh, Kanye needed help. And Kanye retweeted and the argument started. Well, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about Kanye? Because you know he's really been in the media the past uh the past few years with just crazy stuff and so how do you feel about that uh you of course you know that he just recently lost his mother so maybe it may be a retaliation of that we don't know anyway i'm gonna tell y'all this i respect kanye as an artist i respect kanye as a uh genius i respect him as a creator but I think do need help because some of the things he's doing and some of the things that he's saying and some of the things that you know he's acting out on it's kind of scary because y'all know if this was your mama in the situation where she was she was you know getting harassed or hazed or bullied by a man y'all know y'all wouldn't like that I know I wouldn't you know so I don't I'd be pissed <laughs> I ain't gonna need cap I'd be pissed because you don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable in their own space you know they, the man was hiding in bushes yo and like he was just doing crazy stuff so I really I really hate that it had to go to this level with those two I feel DL Hughley is definitely like saying some great stuff but on the other hand on one hand I feel like he's doing some great stuff and he's trying to get him help but on the other hand I feel like he's trying to gain, gain clout because he, he he didn't I don't think that he thought that Kanye was going to latch on to his comments and so when Kanye did and he realized that Kanye's already in the media Hey, DL Hughley just had to try to do what he had to do. And I mean, that's understandable because, you know, when I'm in the spotlight or when I'm in the public eye, I, you know, I, I kind of like want to continue to get my traction too. So that was some good clout for him. I hate that those two had to really go to that level and really had to deal, you know, deal with an issue that needed to be settled between two grown men individually and I don't feel that that was right to do at all I mean that's me I don't feel like it was right to do D.L. Hughley definitely said some crazy stuff he said some crazy stuff yo he called Kanye West um he needed to be in a mental institution I mean he said some crazy stuff and I don't really understand where all of that came from because I feel dear 
I feel D.L. Hughley is kind of like the the controversial uncle of comedy. And so when you have that controversial uncle, you know he's going to say some crazy stuff. You know that. But I also felt like he, he had that type of compassion for black people. And so I didn't think that he would go that far. But D.L. Hughley went far, bro. I mean, he went far. So, um, yeah. How do y'all feel about that? I want to know. How do y'all feel about that? Like, is that crazy to y'all? Is that crazy? Like, I never in a million years would think that somebody who makes money literally doing what they want to do, they don't have to really be on social media acting crazy. They don't want to. They probably got a million dollars in the bank or more. And they are on Twitter arguing about stupid stuff. That's 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 weird to me. That's really weird to me. Yeah, that's weird to me. Yep. Weird to me. Black folk, I wanna know your 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 opinion on about that. I want to know. Now, if you don't know, I wanna bring some current black folk business to y'all today <sighs> the baby yet again at this point i, I don't know I, I i feel like the industry and the industry being um the entertainment industry whether it's music movies uh tv shows uh social media whatever i feel like it's making people famous Making a lot of people famous. The baby, he is talented, yo. The dude, talented. But I feel like a lot of people need some um, mental background checks before they come into this industry or the entertainment industry, uh, might I say. This is like the baby's third time being in the media about hitting somebody. And this time, I, I think, I thought I saw on Twitter where he murdered or alleg- allegedly, allegedly, I don't want nobody trying to sue me for nothing, uh, murdered uh, someone in defense. Whether you believe it's defense or not, that's you. I want to know, though. Do you believe that it was defense? If you've seen the video, you will see, yeah, I think they were in a Walmart and uh, allegedly the baby got into an altercation with somebody and then that the somebody's brother or friend came up tried to defend him and then boom so um i want to know your opinion on that i want to know your thoughts on that how do you feel about that how do you feel about that do you feel that that was the uh defense or do you feel like that was something that needed to be handled or held accountable for in a different level also do you feel like celebrities get off with a lot of stuff i honestly i feel like a lot of celebrities get off and this is not about the baby but i do feel like a lot of celebrities have gotten off easier because they were celebrities you get what i mean so um how do you feel about it do you feel celebrities you know get off with certain things that us regular people wouldn't be able to get off with i don't know but i need you to leave your comment that's all i got for black news black folk business my white people thank you for joining thank you for listening and not saying a word now we got some i got some more stuff for y'all so don't go nowhere don't go nowhere i love y'all black folk let's start sticking together let's start working together let's start connecting and networking let's show this world how powerful black people really are Society ain't here. yes sir now before we close out i got another topic i want to talk to y'all about because i don't know if because i don't know if y'all like really getting it right now but society really ain't it no more leah thomas if you don't know who that is she has become the first trans 
transgender woman to uh, swim with the women and win NCAA. Uh, of course, society really ain't with that right now. Uh, and I want to know how you feel about it. Do you feel that it's fair for someone who identified at one point as one sex uh, you know begins to transition into another sex and then they start swimming with that sex even though they still have the genetic features and genetic makeup of the other sex do you get what I mean how do you feel about that do you feel that's fair well you ain't got to tell me how you feel because Boosie already told us how we supposed to feel about it. And you know, if you don't know, Boosie has been in the media for the past, I want to say year, uh, in the media clapping back at, you know, everybody who is a part of the LGBT community. Uh, hey, Boosie wasn't playing. Boosie basically said, I don't think it's fair. Y'all know how he talk. He he added some cuss words too. He said he think he don't think it's fair. How do you feel about that? Do you feel that it's fair for someone to race or to compete against the opposite sex as that sex, even though they still have the genetic makeup of one sex? How do you feel? I want to know for real. How do you feel about that? If you don't have a feeling about it get one because this is what we talk about everything so we're going to talk about that society it just is crazy right now in the most current event of in society i want to talk about the met gala everybody really despised the fashion at the met gala from the women and the men uh i i feel that fashion has become a lot bigger and broader in today's society than it was back then because you know a lot of, back then a lot of people for me it was really black and white suit and tie you know for women it was either gowns or a or a neutral color you know play it safe but now there are so many people who don't realize and don't understand that a lot of celebrities and a lot of public figures now are getting really risky with anything that they're doing with their music, the movies, the television shows, all of that. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all feel that the fashion has gotten, with the women and the men, do y'all feel like it's gotten crazy or do y'all feel like it's gotten better or worse? Uh, and, and also the fashion trends. Do you feel like they are worth even trying to keep up with or what because I, I really don't keep up with fashion trends like I just dress the way that I want to dress but sometimes I, I do try to uh modify it or what I think I'm still like five years back but anyway you know you you I dress the way that I want to dress so I feel like that's probably like how a lot of celebrities feel I just dress the way that I want to dress you know and can't nobody tell you what to do can't nobody tell you how to dress can't nobody tell you how to do stuff so everybody grown and everybody do what they want to do so if they wanted to dress like homeless people rich homeless people then they could if they want to dress like whatever they could and i feel like and also i feel like the like the met gala and all those different type of big public events i feel like that's the time to dress crazy you know that's the time to dress weird and and dressed outlandish because you want people to be like wow that's basically what people are coming from looking at the fashion trends and looking at the fashion and seeing what's going on so that's why the men don't just come in suit and tie they come in crazier outfits and the women don't come in just a gown but they have all these different type of pieces on because that's the time to actually do that but how do y'all feel like would y'all if y'all was if y'all was celebrity would y'all like dress neutral or would y'all like go all out when it came down to events i want to know because i always found that interesting how you know they dress so different than we dress on 
different occasions. So let me know how y'all feel. But yeah, that's about it. I just want to see how y'all feel about that. Society still ain't it though. Before we go, I promised y'all that I would tell y'all all of my great news. So before we wrap up, I want to tell y'all one thing. The number one greatest news that I've gotten this year this far. I'm a part of the CWF network. Yes, I am. Yes, sir. And the network is conversations with friends. So you're going to be hearing my voice a lot here. I love y'all. I am so excited to be a part of this great network. Let's get it. Let's get it. Now, before we leave, I want you to follow the CWF Network on Instagram right now. Right now, while you are listening to me, go to your Instagram app and follow the CWF Network on Instagram. And then I want you to close out your Instagram app and go to YouTube and follow the CWF Network on YouTube because you're going to be able to hear the replay of all of this on youtube and we're gonna have some other stuff for you too so you but you gotta subscribe to our youtube channel oh and if you have any questions concerns or if you just want to talk to me or you want to give me feedback on the show i want you to call the network's hotline the hotline is 347-719-3350 347-719-3350 Call us and let us know your opinion. I love y'all. Ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Hey, talk to you later. You you ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. This is the CWF Network where we bring you big content in small pieces. Follow us on Instagram at CWFP underscore. Okay, bye.